afternoon, everybody. My name is Moaz Federico Crivelli, and today we'll be telling you about my fantastic experience here in Kivitas High School as a senior, um, which was made possible by my participant in this foreign exchange program. Today, I will be uh, telling you about my uh, personal introduction, so I will introduce myself to the audience. Then I will uh, present my academic achievements, I will share with you my fifth year plan and then go over really quick to my senior project that I uh, led uh, um, during the past fall. Finally, because uh, well, I'm grateful for the services that the community um, offered me, I took part in community service activities that I will be telling you about at the end uh, of my presentation. So let's get started. Personal introduction, okay, we have First of all, family. Family is the most important value to me. This is my family back in Italy. It's me, my mother, Antonella, my father, Marco, and my sister, Carolina, who is 21 years old. Um, my family, well, is really close-knit, and my parents are my role models. Their, their success and their mo motivation make, makes me proud, and I do work hard to make them proud of me. As family is the most important value for me in my in this experience that I'm living, my host family immediately comes uh, later. It's for sure the most significant aspect of my experience. Uh, before coming in the, US, in the U.S., I was kind of scared about what I could have found, but immediately when I found them at the airport and I saw how they were really apprehensive and helpful, uh, that made me feel so much better. Okay, after the effects, I have School. School is what will form my knowledge and my skills, and my knowledge is the only thing in the world that nobody can ever take away from me. So I took part in uh, one of the high, uh, hardest high schools in Italy, and I am today here in the United States of America to uh, well improve my English language skills, uh, learn the culture, make it mine, and actually really love the country and its people. And I will actually talk about this later. Um, then we have learning travels. Two of the most important goals for my life are to learn English with a perfect accent and to um, um, gain as much life experience as a, it is possible to me. So what is a better way than uh, taking part in these uh, learning travels? In the past few years, I've been in London, Miami, and New York, and sitting here uh, just for you know, learning the language and uh, experiencing, uh, experiencing new different cultures. Uh, football is probably the, it's for sure the most cool sport I've been part of. I remember when uh, two days uh, after I arrived in the United States of America, I was still like, disordered by the jet lag, <laughs> but I started immediately football practices. Where, um, there were two, two practices a day, it was super hard, but it was so fun. So uh, this is probably the best memory that I will have about this experience. Uh, as I participate in athletics, fitness has always been uh, part of me. I've always been well, doing sports and home exercise. I love to work out and to challenge myself, push my limits. Uh, so I took part in war polo for the last about three years, which I guarantee is the most tough sport <laughs> a teenager can choose. It's really it was demanding. And during the summer, I enjoy riding my bike in the mountains uh, and breathe some good air and see beautiful landscapes. Um, motorcycling, well, uh, the first time I read, I read a motorcycle, well, I was 10 years old, and, but the motorcycle wasn't mine, so I've been like, praying my father <laughs> to buy me one. And when I turned 14, I could, as most Italians do, I could uh, obtain my first license, and, I, and my dad bought me that red motorcycle. Then when I turned 16, which was pretty small, it was only 50 cc, but when I was 16, he bought me the uh, KTM, which is super fun, and now that I'm here, I just miss it, but <laughs> I will, it's, yeah. after this, so this was me, was my interests, now let's talk a little bit about my academic achievements, uh, which um, 
well, which required me a lot of time and dedication and effort uh, from which derives the, well, 4.0 MVP that I'm earning here in Kirita. Um, mathematics, mathematics is the first one. Uh, I think mathematics is the most important subject in, at school. Uh, I like mathematics and I think it's important for the same reason that it requires you to use your brain for very good exercise for your, for your mind. This test was the first test in the year. Um, so we just arrived here and even though it's not the right perfect score, I still I got an A on this and it still gives me the best score. Um, world history, I really enjoyed that class because it taught me how uh, world history is not limited only to the stories of dead people of the past, but it's really much more than that. Actually, the United States uh, is of America is a nation based on unalienable rights, or as Eugene Jacques Rousseau would call it, a social contract uh, between the government and its people. So there are people that fought and that died for these rights, and studying history to me means honor these people and learning why the world today is, is what it is. Uh, this research paper uh, was um, was on the French Revolution, was a 12-pages um, paper, and I titled it History is Today, pro uh, just because of this, because I believe today the world is because of history. Um, the French Revolution, because it, it set in place democracy and ended the absolute monarchy, and because of a lot of other reasons that I explained in my paper, uh, is basically a crucial key for today's liberty and freedom that we can enjoy. Physics, uh, kind of like math, asks, requires you to use your brain to think very hard on problems. So I do like it, even though sometimes it has the power of driving me crazy. Uh, but th this specific test right here was great. I believe it was Awesome. I like when there are some problems that just ask you to think a lot of passages and use a brain, kind of like a Sudoku thing. And uh, I chose I chose this uh, because it was like a great test, but also because since it was that tough, I was the only one in the class able to do to solve the problems, and I was the only one to uh, get a perfect score on this. Um, then English. For English, I have the um, best work for which I'm maybe most proud after a senior project. Um, even though, even though I took, uh, I gave this speech about a month ago, so my English skills were already um, better improved from my arrival here in, in August or September. Um, it still wasn't easy to speak in front of a class. Uh, in a what is still is a foreign language for 15 minutes, trying to persuade uh, my audience about um, well, about the necessity of investing and uh, relying on alternative and renewable energy sources, which is a topic that not all teenagers are really interested and in, uh, passionate about, like me. Um, however, my speech was a great success, and all the um, all my peers me, so I was really proud of this, and they said that they actually were um, persuaded, so it was really a uh, reason to be proud for me. For uh, my vocational achievement, I chose the um, senior project evaluation, which uh, means, well, this is my senior project. For my uh, presentation, I obtained a score of 100 by all my evaluators, and one of them told me uh, like confidentially that it was the best presentation she had never ever seen. So it made me extremely proud because I had been here only for three months uh, when I gave my, my speech, my presentation. Um, and, they all, and the class itself of High School for Life was also my favorite class because we didn't have anything like that in Italy, and I believe it's extremely useful for a student <coughs> like me that wasn't uh, sure what to do, and it ex exposed me a lot to a career 
uh, we will talk about my senior project uh, later. Uh, but this is for sure, yeah, the best achievement of my school. Okay, then for PE, um, as a foreign exchange student um, working towards a diploma, I had a really busy schedule, so I didn't have any time for doing PE. Uh, nonetheless, I took part in sports and athletics uh, throughout the whole year, joining the football team, the basketball and track and field school teams. And in, during um, football season, I lettered uh, for, this is my varsity letter certificate. Um, and my, I'm proud of this because, well, I never played football in my life before, and it, I, they told me I did pretty well, so my determination and my commitment and my talents are demonstrated by this, and also by the award that I won, the most improved player of the team. Um, finally, we have fine arts. Uh, I, like, I really like art because I think art is creativity, it's passion, it's everything you have inside, um, and you can express this express your spirit and express what you like. Mm, I, as I told you before, for the mountains, I really love landscapes, so I was so surprised and amazed when I first arrived here in Pinta. And uh, red is my favorite color, because it's warm, bright, it draws attention, it's bubbly, and lively. And I was proud of my landscape because it uh, incorporates all of these characteristics. And um, the attention to detail in the foreground and lack of details in the background was what made me uh, made this um, landscape, this painting, be on the um, school newspaper. These were my uh, best words. Now let's talk a little bit about my plans for the future, for next year. This is my resume. Uh, well, yeah, we can see the education in Kiritas and in Ulic, work experience some work experience here, some in your league. And then community service, we'll talk about that later. About leadership and athletics, we have uh, different workshops I took part in. The first robotics team, that's pr uh, really interesting, I think. It was an extremely uh, interesting, I would say, um, opportunity for me to expand and broaden my horizons and my knowledge. Uh, we basically built and programmed the robot and had competitions with it. Um, Future Business Leaders of America, uh, another really good opportunity I had here is um, I participated in job interview and I got first place and I will be heading to state competition uh, in a few days. Then we have National Honor Society, Yearbook and Varsity Athletics. I'm also taking uh, two um, college online classes, one from MIT Entrepreneurship um, 101, well, MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and then from Harvard Online School, I have computer science. It's really challenging, but I think learning computer science is <coughs> a, a really good skill for the future. Um, and then, yeah, first place in job interview, I became a lifeguard for the Red Cross here, and was the most improved football player, so I had a lot of experiences here. Um, this is th these two are my letters of recommendation for uh, applying to college. One is from Mr. Wilson, the teacher, English teacher, and this other one is from Ron Klein, which who, who was my mentor during my senior project, and he's the president of Central Valley Helicopter, which is a pretty successful business, local business. Um, okay, here we get into my fifth year plan. So my fifth year plan changed a lot uh, from since I arrived here. When I arrived here, I was sure that after finishing this year right here, I would go back to Italy, finish my Italian high school, which is five years long, you know, for it, uh, that's in the US, and then probably apply to a university uh, in Italy, or um, maybe I was thinking to go study abroad, so maybe England. By being here, as I said before, I literally fell in love with the United States of America and I wish I could stay here as much as I can. 
and do my, my life here if it's possible for me. So I have first applied to the World Bachelor in Business, which is an extremely selective program, more selective than Harvard or Stanford, any class that you can get in. But it only only 35 people uh, are accepted. But I believe it's a super interesting program because the first year is in University of Southern California. The second year is in the Hong Kong Institute of Science and Technology in China. And it's the best university in Asia for 2011. And then uh, the third year is in Milan, my hometown, the University Bocconi, which ever since is the best university in, in Italy. This bachelor program, the fourth year, okay, will be one university of your choice. Um, you obtain three bachelor, basically three degrees from three of the most important cities in the world. So it was really interesting. But since I didn't get in, I didn't give up, and I am going to, uh, I'm applying to other, to two community colleges which have their deadlines, so I can, and they're cheaper, so I can get my a general education and then apply to another uh, university in the United States of America. Orange, Orange Coast College is the, um, they say the best college for transfers in Southern California, and the Anza College is the best in the Northern California, so it's close to San Francisco. Uh, and I waiting to apply this because I need TOEFL results, and TOEFL is a test for English, English proficiency as a second language. Um, of course, to apply to all these institutes, you need SAT scores. Uh, so these are my SAT scores, that the actual page. I have a total of 1740. I am pl uh, planning to take the test again because I want to improve uh, my score. My fifth year plan, this was, yeah, this was the essay that I was required to write during the fall um, in which I stated that I wanted to go back to Italy. I didn't know what I think. <laughs> and as I said that, as I said in my conclusion, all my plans for the future finalized in achieving a successful career in business that would make me proud and content of myself. I know I have high expectations, but I'm ready to work with effort in order to achieve excellent results and pursue, pursue all my goals. I am a really ambitious, uh, it's proved by my um, um, extracurricular activities, which were mostly related to the application to WBB, the World Bachelor in Business. And yeah, I just said before, even though I didn't get accepted, I feel very competitive, I feel really ambitious, and I will try to get the most from my uh, skills. Admission essay, this was another requirement during the fall. Um, and now we're headed to my senior project. Um, I will go really fast. Okay. Allow. Okay. So this was the presentation I, I led during the fall, which was something I'm really proud of. Um, Welcome, welcome everyone, and thank you for being here. Um, and this time I was, I was telling about how um, my foreign exchange program took me here, and to go back to Italy, took me here, and I basically had the opportunity to experience something that I couldn't have, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to experience in, back in Italy. Uh, this is Milan, where I'm still close where I live, I was actually living in another city, which is here, so Busta Sizio. Well, what I was telling here is, is just that I chose a wrong client for my experience because he uh, is an entrepreneur, so he owns a business, which is what I'm interested in, but um, he owns helicopters, so he's a commercial aviation uh, company, which is a, an opportunity that I couldn't have had in Italy, absolutely. And so this was, yeah, Central Valley Helicopters. Okay. Um, so here was just saying how uh, everything was new for me. In Italy, we have buildings everywhere. Here there's a lot of nature, a lot of wonderful views, wonderful landscapes. Uh, 
this is my deadline sheet, so I needed to meet with the mentor and uh, decide what to do, basically. So I had to interview him, learn about how he prefers his business, how he's so successful, uh, get to see all the helicopters and learn about what they do. And he was, al he was also um, building a new hangar for his helicopters, so I also learned about some engineering skills. He was actually, he actually graduated and he's an engineer. So that was uh, really interesting. After this, these are the helicopters. And then uh, his services. So here we have seeding, which is the main the main purpose of his uh, business. Aerial, applica aerial application. Um, so we have other systems, there is their system like GPS system and also firefighting, and then other services as chair drying, external lift construction, search and rescue, or tours. Uh, here was, yeah, it was just a <laughs> fun thing. I was telling about all the stuff we did. Um, okay, here I was t uh, telling about my interview. So he was telling me how important it, it is to have a dream and to always work hard in order to achieve this dream, uh, in, or in, in order to achieve success. And he uh, told me more than once that the most important skill for an entrepreneur is versatility. So uh, I, I, I really learned a lot from, from this experience. Um, this is a, his project with a new hangar. Uh, when I first arrived there, it was just straight ground here. And then uh, moving on with my senior project, I, I worked for him uh, and uh, we started setting up the, um, setting down the um, uh, concrete. And here we have the first models lab and here we have the first construction and here the roof structure is on. And finally here is at pretty at a good point, I would say. Um, then that is when I finished my uh, senior project. Today the hangar is done completely. Um, again here we have business and persevere is the key to achieve success. <laughs> finally I finished with my happy face and <laughs> this was my senior project. And then, um, wh while people had questions, I had a uh, video to conclude in which I fly away with, with the helicopter, and people really liked it. <laughs> and yeah, uh, should be. There's no comments. project. Finally we have community service and uh, well actually okay this is done so we can <laughs> this is my volunteer log. Uh, I've, I've, I have always been involved with uh, um, community service um, together with work, with school and sports and all my extracurricular activities. Um, the most interesting community service I was uh, participated in was a pilgrimage in France uh, to Lourdes, which is a, a holy city for Christianity. Um, and what, what I did in that was basically traveling there and helping elderly people and ill people uh, to uh, throw out their pilgrimage. It was, <coughs> for, for us, it was really demanding and physically tiring. But the, the climate is there. It's, it's something that you don't see anywhere else in the world. Before leaving for for going to Lourdes, they told me that I was like, "Yeah, people probably are happy there because of some reason." But no, it's it's really it cannot be described. People just hug each other and they eat 
feel loved by other people and it's something that that just doesn't happen. You have time to stop and realize how sweet this life and this uh, this gift that we're given. Um, all my other um, community service experiences taught me a lot. Uh, for example, having a free humanity, I've been working on business related concept, um, helping kids, always formative with your friends, but yeah, that was the first, the first, the first. Okay, so this was, this was everything, and yeah, thank you for being here. <laughs> Very nice.